Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about setting up encryption on an external hard drive on a Mac. So I'll put a link in the description to that previous video. So someone commented and asked if it would slow things down. So I'm going to test that in this video. So I have this USB drive mounted on my system right now. It's a Samsung bar and I'll put a link in the description to this. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this is a 128 gigabyte USB 3.0 stick. It's empty right now. I'll do get info on it. And here we see it's APFS encrypted. So I looked for a file around 500 megabytes. I found one that's 700 megabytes, that should work. I'll go into my terminal here and I'm going to use the terminal so I can time this easily. So I'll go into my downloads folder. So what I'll do is I'll say cat space and I'll type Ubuntu and then hit tab so it fills that out for me. That's the file I want to use. And then I will use greater than and then forward slash dev forward slash null. So I'll do that. That way I'll take this file and it may load it into cache a little bit or not, but it's not the first time I'm reading it. The system just read it now and sent it to DevNull and that was very fast. So I'm using a 2012 MacBook, which is an, you know eight years old now. Uh, so whatever speed you see on here will probably be faster on a newer machine. So now I'll say time space CP space the file name. And I'll say forward slash volumes forward slash secret files and I'll hit enter. Okay, that took 11 seconds. I guess I can do this a couple times. Okay, so I sped that up there. I'll do it one more time. Okay, so we got 11.6, 11.9, and 11.6. So now I'll go into Disk Utility and I'll swap that back over to be unencrypted. Okay, so I switched it back over and I just kept it named Secret Files so I can just hit the up arrow and run this again easily. So we got 10.7 there, 10.7 and 10.7 and 10.5. So it was about one second faster on the unencrypted drive. And that was write speed, now I'll test the read speed. I'll type time space cat space forward slash volumes forward slash secret files and then the name of the file. I'll say greater than forward slash dev forward slash null. And I'll hit enter. And that happened instantaneously. So that makes me think it's being cached right now. Let me try ejecting the drive. Okay, I plugged it back in. Okay, we had 1.753 seconds. If we do it again, I'm sure it's gonna be fast. Okay, I'll just eject it each time. Okay, we got 1.7 seconds again. Now I'll switch it back over to encrypted. Okay, now I need to copy the file back over. We got 11.6 seconds. So that's similar to what we got the first time we did this. I'm going to try copying it from the drive, do the read test. It's super fast, that's what I expected. Drag this down to eject. It's asking for the password as it should. So it was 4.023 seconds. Okay, so I got about the same result there. It was 4.03 this time. So previously we had 1.753 and 1.749, and now we have 4.036. So that's a few seconds slower. And this is on a 700 megabyte file, by the way, so it is a big file. Uh, but three seconds, you can look at your own situation and see if that is a problem for you or not. And like I said, this is a 2012 MacBook Pro. It's eight years old. On a newer Mac, this is gonna be slightly faster. There might still be a speed difference between encrypted and unencrypted, but it'll be less noticeable. So I do run File Vault on all my Macs, and I don't really notice a drop in speed from using File Vault. Now technically there probably is a little drop in speed, but it's not noticeable for day-to-day -day tasks. And I edit video on my 2015 MacBook Pro, and that's you know, five years old, and it works just fine editing video using File Vault. So I'm not going to get into it in this video, but you could have an encrypted partition on the USB drive and an unencrypted partition. So if you have things you don't need security on, you could put them in the unencrypted part, if you have things you need security on, you can put them in the encrypted part. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.